Hello everybody. Okay, today I'm going to share with you another recipe for the holidays. And guess what? Is the stuffing. But the best part, we're going to use cauliflower instead of bread. This recipe is perfect for the holidays today. We are two days before Thanksgiving, so I'm preparing all the side dishes. So this one is cauliflower stuffing. It's plant-based, it's gluten-free, dairy-free. So what are we going to need? We're going to need four tablespoons of butter. This is vegan butter. We're going to need one onion. So you chop the onion. Uh, two celery stacks, you chop the celery stacks. One whole cauliflower head, you chop the whole cauliflower head. I would say one, one big carrot or two carrots, depending on how big they are. Mushrooms, and the mushrooms, you're going to chop the mushrooms too. You're going to need black pepper to taste and salt to taste. I use Himalaya salt. You're going to need one quarter parsley chop. You're going to need two tablespoons rosemary fresh. So like you can tell I keep my rosemary here, you know, I grab it from the garden and I keep it here with water. So it's fresh, fresh. Well, you're going to need some sage. These are going to give a good aroma. This is one tablespoon of sage. And you're going to need half cup of vegetable broth. So let's do this. We're going to start. I'm going to use my instant pot. I'm going to put it in saute mold. We're going to put the four tablespoons of butter. Let's see. Where is the thing? Here. So put it there. We're going to put it to melt. Okay. And so this is a very good um, alternative for stuffing if you are on a plant-based diet. Instead of bread, you use cauliflower. Okay. So let's wait until that melts. Ta -da. So we'll let it melt and wait for your piece here. So it's just two days for the holidays and I decided to share all my recipes. This is a perfect time of the year to share, to share the recipes. So this is melting here. Like you can tell. Melting. The instant pot is amazing because you can do so many things with that. I love the instant pot. So remember one whole on a chop. Just waiting for the butter to melt. Be with me. We're doing this together. So Celery, two to three stacks of celery chop. One whole cauliflower head chop. One or two carrots chop. I would say eight ounces of mushrooms chop. Okay, now it smells so good. Then. Yes. So we're going to start with the onion. Saute the onion until it's translucent. But this is We're going to put it with the celery. Actually, I feel like I want to move this one so you can see more what I'm doing here. So you can hear the pot making good sounds. So I'm going to leave it there for a little bit. You can tell. Mm -hmm. I like to organize when I'm cooking, when I dry away. See, 
we save time later. So you can hear already making some sounds. So we leave it like eight minutes until the onion is totally translucent and then we will put the onion and cauliflower. Yes, I'm going to add the carrots. Maybe I should put some music to dance here, right? It's so quiet. <laughs> you know, it's two days before Thanksgiving. Um, so it's very, this is a very good dish that you can make in advance two days. And then you put in the refrigerator and then the day of Thanksgiving you just warm it. It's the same time for you to share with the family, so that's very important. So then I'm going to add the cauliflower. Look at all this cauliflower. All mm -hmm. oh, the cauliflower. Oh, oh. went to the room. Rompet, rompets. And we can add some salt and pepper. And wait, let's wait a little bit for a little bit to get the flavors. And then we add the salt and pepper. So you leave it there for a little bit longer, you know just to get the flavors of the onions, the carrots, and the celery mixed with the cauliflower. So. I'm getting muscles in this heart. <laughs> like I'm working at my, my arm. Okay, so let's add the mushrooms. Mushrooms already previously chopped. Okay. I have to look. Mushrooms are so great because it's like um, they're high in protein. So if you are a plant-based diet and you're asking where you get your protein from. So a good source of protein is the mushroom and also it's very high in vitamin D. And then we're going to add some black pepper, organic black pepper. Black pepper is very good for digestion because it's a little spicy, so it's good. So let's add more like this. This is to depend how much how much do you like black pepper, you know, it's according to your taste, your own taste. I feel like I'm getting muscles here. And let's add some salt. I like to use Himalaya salt. So let's put some salt too. Two 
your taste. It's according to how much you salute and your food. And we mix everything. It's already smelling delicious. So you may imagine, so instead of using bread, you use cauliflower. It's very healthy. It's a very healthy meal, very good for your body, easy to digest. You know, in, the, in Thanksgiving, we always eat a lot of food. Uh, so this is a good alternative. So we're going to add the one quarter cup of parsley to this. We're going to add the two, two tablespoons of rosemary. We're going to add the tablespoon of sage. I love the smell of sage. Um, mix it again. Let's mix it. Get the good flavors. It's looking beautiful. I'm going to show you. Let's see how it's moved here. Look at this. Oh, I know what to do. Getting the flavors, the aroma from the sage, the aroma from the rosemary, from the parsley. It smells so good. And we just leave it there for a little bit, maybe eight, ten minutes to let it, the vegetables to soak a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to put this back in place. So I will leave this one here. You can see more. Let's go back in place. Getting the flavors, the smell, are looking great. You know, cooking is always fun. Flower has a lot of water, and so it's already getting some of the juices. So, getting the flavor with the salt, the pepper, the herbs, it's very smooth, smelling delicious. Okay, and now I'm going to add the vegetable broth, it's just one half cup, and then you just let it, you let it keep cooking until the water is all totally absorbed so you will leave it there for about you know when you feel the broccoli the cauliflower is tender this is when you know it's getting ready and also when the all the water is absorbed so that you will have your mushroom i'm sorry your cauliflower stuffing so check it out how it's looking so far like a microphone you see okay so we have to wait 10 minutes to get it ready so in the meantime you can do something for the uh, Thanksgiving so I hope you enjoyed this recipe then I will make a video of the whole plant-based uh, plant -based Thanksgiving meal and enjoy the holidays. Remember, it's all about sharing with family so, and friends. So that is why I'm sharing this recipe with you to inspire you to have a delicious, a delicious holidays and also to share with my love, all my knowledge and all have, what I do to share 
I forgot what to say to all what I do to for my family in the holidays. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget if you have any questions, I'm here to answer all the questions and have a beautiful rest of the day. Bye bye. And so I will come back when this is ready. Yes. Getting ready, getting there. Actually, let me show you. I wanted to say bye, but actually it's almost ready. It's almost It's already absorbing the, the, the liquid, so this had to stay. And so it's totally ready. So adjust the salt and pepper according to what you, your, is your taste. And let it cool down and then refrigerate it. And then the next day you just put it in the oven. Okay. Okay, it's going to take a few more minutes, so bye-bye, have a beautiful rest of the day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, and it's all about sharing with family and friends. I love you all. Bye-bye, see you again with more videos about plant-based diet for the holidays. Bye-bye.